Hello there, Randy. How are you, Randy? I hear it's your birthday, Randy. Your friends have told me. They phoned me up, the happy birthday singer, and they said they wanted me to come and sing a special happy birthday song to you, Randy, because it's your birthday. So let's get into your song, shall we? Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Randy. Happy birthday to you. For he's a jolly good fellow, Randy's a jolly good fellow, he's a jolly good fellow, and so say all of us, so say all of us, so say all of us, Randy's a jolly good fellow, he's a jolly good fellow, Randy's a jolly good fellow, and so say all of us, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, because it's Randy's birthday. So there you go, Randy, on your birthday, a very special song just for you. So you have a great time, you have lots of fun, and next year, Randy, on your birthday, your friends just might send me back again to sing happy birthday to you, Randy, on your birthday. Goodbye. Have fun. Birthday boy, Randy. You're looking good. Jaded you. I am about to come unglued. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know that? Do we know? Oh, finally, the birthday boys here got this. What are you son winding of a bitch up? Running. What are you moaning for? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Do it now. Stop I, I don't need it. <laughs> Go back in the other room and feed the dog. Happy birthday! Silence! <laughs> I got your birthday hanging right here. Happy birthday. <laughs> this oh. shit just got sexy. <laughs> you disgusting tramp. <laughs> oh, Hello, everybody. Nice to see you here. We finally made it. I can't morning, believe it. Michelle. About time you got out of bed. 1 a.m. in the morning. Boy. Yeah, 1.18. About time you dragged yourself out of bed. Boy, Did dang. your hair and all that. Well, anyways, we're finally here. I got it running, so we'll see how long it lasts. I don't know. When it goes out, I'm done. That's it. I quit. Had enough. Exceed sucks the big one. Does it like suck donkey's balls? So we're running off my phone again, so I'm sure my phone bill will be... God only knows what next time. Anyways, no, Nicholas. We didn't find who was at the bottom of that hole. We're still looking. <laughs> yeah, we got you recording. I've not been able to bloody load it up. You should see what Exceed's been doing. We've literally just loaded up what we've had to load up. Um, and there's one off Joshua Gay, which I got last week somewhere. I Anybody did go, I'll just stop. I what? can hear it. Oh, in fact, I'll play it on my I'm phone. trying to talk over here. No! Can you stop a minute? No. All right, go on. <laughs> Dave's got new shoes. See, Dave over there with his, his brand, brand new, new shoes. shoes. <laughs> 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 Well, anyways, um, I guess from here on we'll just uh, rock until we rock our cocks out. And, uh, oh, did you manage to... Uh... Hey, W, what's up, buddy? Thanks for the song, you guys. Loved it. It was awesome. Yeah, I was trying to get it downloaded here, but... Pff, friggin' internet. Oh, and it was so cool. We both had a right good giggle Well, I'm not done yet. I still might get it, so just uh, hang in there. We'll see. The show ain't over with yet. See? I just Dave, hope I can find it before it quits. With his brand new shoes. Oh, brand new shoes. And Donna sang me the most lovely, I lovely did not. birthday song. I did not. Let me see if it'll work now. It is. Here it is. Okay. Oh, you're not playing that, that one to put on your Facebook, are you? Let's see how long this takes to load up. Here it is. This is it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. There, that's some hot shit. Yes, sir. Ain't that's that a sexy voice? Brit right there, that is. That's right, that's that what is that is right there then. What we got here then? I don't know, it's uh, I've hit download on my phone. No, what is that? Is that Laura's song? No, it's Nicholas Rich. I couldn't oh, get right, the loaded You just get it loaded up if you can make it work. Oh, you gotta give it over to me to load, because I'm on a separate whole deal over Oh no, here. I was just gonna whack my phone. Oh wait a minute, it. you have you tried Yep. 
You you got the chat, so it's working. Yeah, but I've uploadings another. Yeah. Well, put it on the stick and stick it, and I'll stick it. Are you gonna? St- <laughs> you gonna stick 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 it? Right, right. If you stick it there, I'll stick it here. Let's do it now. All right then. Oh, I didn't load that up either. Well, anyways, let's uh, try this. Up your ass, you'd know where it was. Oh, yes, sir. That's right. Sir, yes, sir. Hey, everybody. It's Caesar the Radio Dog. You're listening to my pop and old long face, Mrs. Bradley. Oh, here she comes. I got a beat feet. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, Lannis Moriaset. I used to call her Lannis the fat ass Moriaset. You still do. Why did you say used to? Because I don't you, know. You told me that all the day. Every, I'd every never day you say, the more you sit, the fatter I should get. I've never said such a thing to you in your life. <laughs> Fucking ho. Well, you should have done. You should have gave me some warning. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to know how fat your own ass is. You don't need me to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Random Man and Donna, the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Nitwits here on a Friday night. It's a rock night, of course. Everybody suggests we should just leave well enough alone, so here we are doing what we do. And that's what we do. Just want to say hello to Laura White. What's going on? Nicholas Rich is here tonight. Michelle Cross. What are you doing over there then? And, uh, Giggles. And yes, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Dave. Dave. Mr. Dave with his new shoes the over Dave's there. The Daves. See? Daddy Sismo. Hi, Dave. Patty. Hope Dave. you're feeling better. Shoes. Looking better over there. Hey. Oh, who have we missed so far? Anybody else so far? Or is that it for the moment? It's friggin' chat board scrolling back. Dave says, pieces. got me some button flies ordered. I Take heard that. To go to the potty now. I what had, the you know what? Fuck? I had some of those in... What, what, what's button flies as in... The zip, instead of a zipper, there's buttons. Oh my god, I had some of those All as you well. have to do is on one button, unbutton one button, and it's Un- ready for a blowjob. I mean, they're great <laughs> pants for that. You can't, get it, you can't get it caught in your zipper when that happens. At least that's a good thing. But you know what? What? When you gotta take a serious leak and you gotta take it now, or you need now. to take a shit, you should try to unbutton those bastards when you're in a hurry. <laughs> it don't work. Hi, Linda! What's that? Just as we were starting the show, your mum walked in and started chattering, and then your dad walked in and started chattering, and <laughs> just a full house. I <laughs> know. Where's those strawberries at, though? I'm fixing to have some of those. Your dad says he's beating them up a bit. I thought he, so he took them with him? No, they're in the fridge. Well, you said he was beating them up. No, he did. He beat them up. He beat them up, They're all, um, whatever you called it. I know. They're mashed. That's the word. No, he's not put no sugar on, so if you're going to put sugar on, let me have mine first. No, they'll be all right with just a whipped cream on them. They'll be fine. (laughs) Fresh strawberries. (laughs) Gotta love that. Oh, baby. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to say goodbye to our dearly departed Linda Oldman, who passed away on the shitter this afternoon at 1.45 p.m. Can you describe the shit that she took? Oh my god, it was massive. You won't believe the mother note she left behind. Was it all fucked up? Oh, it was all fucked up. Like a uh uh-huh? That's exactly how it was, dear sister Donna. Is there any other words you'd like to add in this passing of our dearly departed Linda? Linda. Linda, my love. You snuffed it on the shitter. Just like your dearly beloved Elvis Presley. I'm all shook up. George Flies, <laughs> Alice in Chains on the RTM Radio Network, Random Man and Donna the Yankee and the Brit, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley at your service. We have something to tell, something to tell Samo. Remember we asked you to do some, um, stop, look, I know Elvis is dead, but please, it's overwhelming now. 
I might get my words out sometime. How do you like it when somebody talks <laughs> over top of you all the time? Isn't it a beautiful thing, Mrs. Bradley? <laughs> Mr. Bradley, it's a beautiful thing. Shut up. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, Samo, um, remember we said to you last week, I think it was last week, we said, can you make us some um, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley clips? So me and Randy, we was doing all sorts of cool, all sorts of cool stuff to send you so you could make it all into some clips for us. And you know, uh, we was about to send it to you and uh, we, was, we ended up almost sending you the one that we sent you months back. Do you remember we was going, it's Mr. and Mrs. Bradley, she, she. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> we was doing all stupid ah, voices. Mr. and Mrs. Bradley, she. She, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley, she. We was doing all sorts of uh, accents. You look so funny when you do that. She. She. <laughs> yeah, we was doing all sorts of accents and different voices, and uh, we was having a right good giggle, and we was there going, oh my gosh, Samo's going to have to decipher all this. He's going to have to do something with this. And, uh, yeah, Randy exited out of it, out of, out of audacity, and we never even sent you the bloody thing. We didn't? That's never no. sent it? No, Jake, you remember I said, no oh, we never heard from him. remember I said, oh, this is an old one, where's the new one? And you said, you said, this is the only one I've got. I was like, uh-oh. I thought you were talking about the one we did last week. Yeah, I was talking, I was trying to send it. We did it like 80 friggin' times and didn't <laughs> like any of it? Yeah, we, we did it so many times because we ended up, we realised we was talking too much shit and it sounded shit. Well, I see Samo happens to have this little trick of uh, using our voices instead of his own, so I, you know... <laughs> I see how he is, so if he's going to use my voice, we've got to say something that makes some sense. <laughs> yeah, because we listened to your show the other day, Samo, and, and all you could hear was my voice. Do you remember the other day? You kept, Do it now! Yeah, you kept playing, Do it now! <laughs> <laughs> and he kept saying, You're on his show more than you are ours. <laughs> oh, my God. It's fucking yeah, well, we literally reco- we were literally recorded loads of, uh, loads of stuff for you, and then I just don't know what happened to it. Randy went to send it me, and it, it turned out to be that... Uh, that old one where he's, where Randy's saying, will you get off that fucking mic? He just can't find the new one. So uh, we just don't think we saved it. I know, you know, when, when she talks, when she sings, when she does everything, she's got her mouth right here on top of the microphone. Like, I'm not quite giving it a go. Well, <laughs> she's doing songs and I keep, you know, signaling her, back up, back up, back up, back up. I try to get her to go across the room because she's so friggin' loud, but it's like talking to the wall over there. Don't you touch Honk. my mouse. <laughs> Leave my mouse alone. <laughs> did you really want to? Did you, want, did you want everyone to know it was a mouse? You're supposed to say it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> they call me Loch Ness because I'm, I'm hiding just, a monster. I'm just straight up about that shit. Keep your hand off my fucking bone. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hand off my fucking two inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what? <laughs> my two inches. You said you're straight up about this thing. Let's so let's be straight up. Seriously, they say things are bigger in Texas. Boy, was I disappointed. <laughs> You're out of here, bitch. <laughs> fucking right back to England. That's it. You're done. First fucking thing. Back on the fucking plane. Get the <laughs> hell out of Dodge, bitch. Your days are numbered. Somebody requested Thunderstruck. Here it is. Live. ACDC. On a rockin' Friday night with Random Man, the Yankee and the Brit, Donna, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley. We are here. Where's Nick Deitch? I wanted to thank him for the birthday song he sang. I haven't heard a word from him. ICDC <laughs> live and thunderstruck on the RTM Radio Network on a Friday rock with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Oh, sorry to see you go, Marty, but Hi, Rock Marty. Friday, Country Saturday, the votes were decided, so that's how it goes. But you're more than welcome to come back anytime you want. There'll be tomorrow night, we'll be doing the old country thing. We'll see you then. It is what it is. So, hope everybody's having a good time tonight. You guys are funny. Hello, Mr. TT, Tim Tatum. What's going on over there, mister? Hey, Mr. T, did you put your willy in Mrs. Jib Jab's ear? I, 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 wet I, and soggy. Hello, Patricia. How are you tonight? Hope you're feeling better. Everybody's been falling to the wayside, all broken down and broken up and falling apart. My uncle, by the way, had a massive stroke today, or heart attack. What was it? Heart what? attack. Yeah, so they put a stint in, and uh, my mom's already talking to him on the phone. They did it this morning. He's already on the phone talking to people, so I guess he's fine. Had a major artery got blocked up, uh, but 
they got him in time, got him all taken care of, so so far so good. So he's here to live on a little longer. So bless you, Uncle Al, wherever you may be. Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Now here's a little story. To tell it is a must. About an unsung hero who moves away the dust. Some people make a fortune, others earn a mint. My old man don't earn that much. In fact, he's flipping skint. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brick. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys, we're running on limited in resources, so uh, we can't download anything we don't have here. I don't have that Doors, or I'd be more than glad to play it for WWE. Yeah, any, anything that we've loaded, anything that we've got loaded tonight is what's already been loaded here uh, half the week, you know. Well, I can load anything we have in the library. Oh, oh in the library, okay. So if you know that we've got it in the library, in the already on spree, I mean, what you've heard us play before, basically. Ask for what you want. If we got it, I'll be, you know, what of course, want, I'm more than glad to play it. Mm. I think Michelle wanted Hotel California. I think we've got that. I'm going to have a look see here in just in a minute. The chat room, Mr. Dan, Danny Deitch. Well, hello there, must be. What's going on? Hello. Every time you come back, we're playing good music. You can't go wrong with that. Random Man and Donna, the RTM Radio, Radio Nitwits. Nitwits. That would be you. Hi, Michelle. Callison. Hi, girl. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, she said she was. Happy birthday to your mom, you? by the way. Make sure you tell her I said that too. There must be some of the most awesome people born in April. Maybe in one of them. <laughs> yeah, your birthday's only a couple weeks away, huh? Mm. Michelle's is on the. Uh, Michelle's is on the fifteenth. Look who's in the chat room as well. Yo, Spreaker baby, what's up, Mister? Spreaker baby, did you just call him Spreaker baby? That's my Spreaker daddy. <laughs> Spreaker daddy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> I wanted to say happy birthday to Joanne, Michelle, but I didn't know where to... I just saw that you posted it. I didn't know... I don't have a link to Joanne's page if she even has one, so... Just tell her for me. Yeah, I knew it would. Thanks. You are one all right girl, that's for sure. Red Man Donna over here. How about uh, we play a... It's, it was my... It's my birth. My birthday was yesterday, so it it's, was my birthday. And Hey, didn't you have some stuff to read? I do. I'm glad you reminded me. You know what? Let me play this song, and when we come back, you can read that stuff. I've had it stashed in the makeup bag so Randy wouldn't see it. <laughs> I hope it's got some and lipstick did... for my dipstick. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> you should see your eyes. <laughs> anyway, why don't you tell these guys about our train time yesterday afternoon? No, I'm not eating beans, by the way. I'm having fresh strawberries that my dad brought over, the chintzy oh, the bastard. Oh, the tin bowl, that's me. The little chintzy bastard. They bring us over strawberries, and there's enough here for like half a bowl, and we're supposed to split it. Here you go, guys. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So. Mm. Oh, these some bitches are but we had, we had some train time. I know nobody wants Oi, to hear you eat. Tell but... these guys about your train time. I was like heave hoeing on the back of your train yesterday. Oh my god. I had to move the train yesterday. I'm gonna got a bunch of stuff I hauled over here when I moved over here to clean up and out behind the garage ever since. And uh so we had to move the train, so I had to Yeah, lay... Rand, Randy built a train for you guys that don't know what he's talking about. He built this big red train that's about 20, sizes, 20 times the size of him. You know what? I'll put the link up on my page again. You guys can look at it tomorrow. Yeah. Anyways, if you'll shut up now, I'm done with my strawberries. I can tell them what's going on. Do we mm. now? Ah, 
Anyways, can you find a place to pile that amongst all your other junk over there? Oh, right there's on top that of that one. Stack it a little <laughs> higher, baby. God. So I had to move the train yesterday, so I had to lay down some other track, you know. I had started laying some track out here, and I had to... to uh, the train sits up behind the garage, and the track where it's going to be is about You know these guys can't see your hand movements, can't you? I'm using it! To, will you shut the fuck up? I'm turning your fucking microphone on. <laughs> I've been trying to tell this story for the last 20 minutes. Tell me now! I'm trying! <laughs> she's, so about, she's about to... Shut up! Loop. Wait, you're done. I shut her off. Fuck that shit. I got something to say here. <laughs> Now, shut up. It's a good job his mic picks up mine. I got a fucking job for you right here. <laughs> Could you be quiet just for a minute? For a minute. Uh. <laughs> that was him, by the way. So, I had to to angle the track over to where the train was sitting, So because I can't pick it up and move it. It weighs probably a good thousand pounds or more. So, I laid this track over there and just half-assed it together, you know, so we could go, well, we... Had all these tight turns and things, and we got it around it fine. Because he likes it tight. But when we got to, uh, we got it on a straight part of the track, and <laughs> Rummy over here is is my motor to, because we had to push it like just a couple inches at a time because the track was so funky. I didn't want it to derail. Well, guess Psst, what? Rick, Rick. Shut the fuck up a minute. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> It's a good goddamn thing I love her, I'm telling you right now. So anyways, we managed to get over, well, I fucking dropped it on the ground twice. So now she knows how to fucking re-rail a train. And I broke the pin off that holds the rear truck on, so now I gotta lift the damn thing up and take it apart and fix that. So anyway, we was pushing it down the track. Shut up, <laughs> and, and he kept, <laughs> yeah, I know, he's been, I've been laughing my head off. I know what the fuck's been going on. You think I can't see that? I can multitask, unlike you, can't even breathe and <laughs> so think at the same time. So anyway, way. this this was the this was the train story, how I saw it. Uh, Randy had, like, the train sat on this train track, which was just a little bit more than the length of the train. I just fucking and, said all that over there. I'm trying to tell you it in my eyes. Because your eyes are different to mine. Anyway, so um, so anyway, he went to put some other train track in front of it to roll it onto, Shut so up, that Rick. he could, uh, <laughs> so that he could, so that he could move the train. Well, anyway, trainy train. Shut, Rick. Anyway, shut Michelle. <laughs> anyway, because he couldn't put the train track straight up to it, it was like fucking zigzags, and then he wondered why it derailed. Twice. It derailed because my fucking helper engine pushed too fucking hard. <laughs> you should have seen her back there behind this thing. It got jammed in a couple spots, and all I heard was, <laughs> and I thought she was shitting her drawers back there. It was, um, I was shitting my drawers, but I was just pretending I was pushing the train. Probably got fucking hemorrhoids now pushing <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so heavy. I and blew then, an ass cheek. And then he like says, and then he like says, now this next push is going to be, you're now really going to have to push it hard. And then you're going to have to stop it quick. <laughs> and I'm like, how the fuck are we going to do that? So anyway, I'm pushing this train. And then uh, I gives it a right good heave-ho, as you're you right, do. right, Sam-o. <laughs> it gives it a right good heave-ho, as you do. And then I'm like, fuck, I can't stop the bastard. And then that's it, it's derailed. <laughs> so guess who had to end up jacking so we, the bitch up? <laughs> so we had fun yesterday afternoon. Well, I did anyway. <laughs> he was cursing and swearing. And, no, in fact, you had I a, was pretty you, calm the whole you time. You a, were bitching more than I was. Yeah, and then you went and dropped. Yeah, he was He was pretty calm. He was calm-ish. No, you were like, cuck, motherfucking... Mo anyway, yeah, he was pretty calm about it. Um, and then, right at the end of the day, he went and dropped a jar of washers and it had a few screws. All day I was calm and cool, collected, and I knocked this fucking jar of screws over. And he was like, yeah, yeah, fucking got <laughs> I'm surprised the neighbors didn't hear you. And he just... And he just Ooh, <laughs> fucking, I'm pushing as fucking hard as I can! <laughs> and yeah, when he, when he dropped this jar of washers... Um, you know, he absolutely fucking lost it. He went nuts, and I was just dying laughing. I could not stop laughing. I, and I tolerated was like, her fucking ignorance a whole goddamn day, <laughs> and I just had to let it out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Michelle, Mr. B, calm. Yeah, right. <laughs> I turned into a Muldrew. <laughs> Meldrew. What the fuck's his name? Victor Meldrew. Yeah. I don't bloody believe it. <laughs> That was a good little video today, too. Yeah. It was like, 
Are you there, Tom? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Muldrew. <laughs> Are you there, mate? Hello. Was any app putting signs up and we says, let's record a video? <laughs> no, you said that. She does that all the time, right in the middle of a fucking job. Says, Stop, let's make a video. <laughs> yeah, this is getting us paid. Oh, man, what the hell have I gotten into, you friggin' Brits? <laughs> yep, that makes everything just fine. Yes. All right, moving right along. Random man and Don at the Yankee and the Brit on a Friday night. We're doing the rock and roll thing. If you don't like it, come back tomorrow when we do country. That's all I can say about that. So, where were we now? Do it now. The Yankee and the Brit Show on the RTM Radio Network. <laughs> no, Rick, Rick does like this. <laughs> oh, that tickles. That's Rick. <laughs> She's always telling me that you giggle a lot. <laughs> it does. It does. It's, yeah, Jay, Jay Sons would be like. Jay Sons would be like. Ah, rah, 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 about politics because he's very, very <laughs> into <laughs> politics. And we'd just be like. Psst. And Rick would be like. <laughs> you just have me giggling my head off. <laughs> That's more like a trill than a grrr. <laughs> All right. Uh, just stop it at the... What's this? Whoa, Michelle. Uh, just stop it at the purr I sent down to the recordings. Oh. All right, you can try, Sam. Well, I don't know where we'll be by then, but yeah, please. Yeah, just just call my phone. Yeah, we'll answer or we won't. Just depends on where we are and what we're doing. Well, I don't even know what the I'll hell we got planned for tomorrow yet. So we'll always we've always got time for summer. We'll always answer. I got to get the permit yes, shit turned will. in. Did you get the rest of the info from Mama? Yes. So we can do that. Yes. Okay, just checking with you while I'm thinking about it. All right, another good tune with Random Man and Donna, the Yankee and the Brit on a rock and roll Friday night right here. The date is April the 3rd. I had a birthday yesterday. Thank you, everybody. I want to say it again for all the birthday wishes. I tried to thank everybody individually, personally, all like 200 and some of you, and I got who I could get. And somewhere there was a couple like uh, Mary Miller, Mary Pentec, as I've always known her. Shook Dave. Um... Left and her and a couple other people left them on my other Randy page on Facebook, and I don't even use that thing. I don't even know how to get back in it again. But I sent Mary a message today, and anybody else I could think of. So I hope I, oh, jeez, love those strawberries, but my God, the after effects. I hope I got everybody covered. So thanks again, everybody. You guys are great. All right, you kids need a per rent. <laughs> a per rent. With you at all times? Shop, Dan. My parents are next door where they belong, so we're just fine over here. <laughs> Watch, tonight will be the night Mom's listening over there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were just about to start, and the web just piled in right at 7 o'clock, just as we were you know, trying to You know, Pop come on. in too. Hey, you want some strawberries? I know, and they never really come in together, do they? But today, him and Caesar was in here as well, buzzing around our asses. Didn't I hear him ring the bell out there before he came Caesar, in? Caesar, yeah, he's quite good <laughs> at ringing the bell. I think he, he likes up. ringing the bell. Caesar, Caesar jumps up very high with his waxy... <laughs> he must. Uh, you can't yeah. tell whether it's the bell or whether it's him. Move. I wonder if Pop had a bell at their house when he was a kid or something. Because he always rings. He leaves the mail in the mailbox out there, and he rings the bell hanging out there on the pole. Does too. it's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's pretty slick, actually. Somebody wanted to hear some credence, so what do you say we do that? Let's do it now. Do it now. No! Want to be a semi-famous radio show host like Randy and Donna? Well, then drink massive amounts of alcohol, buy a trailer home, and don't show up to work on time. The Yankee and the Brit Show on RTM Radio. It's a Bob Threger right there on the RTM Radio Network. Random Man and Donna, the Yankee and the Brit, right here on a rock and roll. Did Friday someone night. say they wanted to speak to Caesar the Radio Dog? He's just poddling in. He's just stretching. Hey, Can you come here a minute? Yeah, go on my way. All right. 
right. Hang on a second. He's coming. What do you got to do here now? Hey, buddy, what's going on? How are you? Hey. I'm okay, Pop. How are you? Doing pretty good. What's up, long face? <laughs> I got your long face right here. Yeah, well, I got Caesar and a longer bitch. tongue, too, so shut Now up. then, Caesar, are you going to help me read these uh, birthday messages to Pop? Yeah, I can help. Okay, then, so this... What do you got to read? What's this? So I this think is... I can read it. Did you write it? This is from... If you wrote it, then probably not a chance in hell. No, it's from Granny Ingle. Are you going Granny... to read to Granny Ingle's birthday? Oh. Birthday Granny message. Ingle. Granny Ingle. She's been on the show quite a few times. She we loves... met her in New Orleans. She loves Brad James. Oh, she... oh. Poor girl. Oh, well. That's just my opinion. <laughs> you just shut up and do what Donna tells you. Then read it now. What, you want me to read that? Yes. Oh, uh, look, to, to, to tell him happy birthday from Granny Ingle, and she said to lay off the birthdays so that I can play catch up with you. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good, Granny. Yeah, that's all right. Thanks, Granny. Oh, and I've got one here from Sherry Schmidt. Okay. This got anything to do with the Schmidt house? <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> can I go out there when we're done? Yeah, you can go shit if you want to. No, I want to go to the Schmidt house. Sherry Schmidt said, Wish Randy a happy birthday for me. Hopefully, I will be tuning Jesus, in. Jesus, hey, put your thumbs up. Happy birthday, Randy. Yeah, hey. I know you've already got your birthday Jesus, wish. God She's almighty, sitting right beside you, holding your microphone. Come on. You're killing us over here. How's your ears, boy? What ears? You blew them off. <laughs> Caesar, stop. Well, I couldn't blow your balls off, could I? You ain't got none. I got a seam, though. <laughs> You've got up. a seam. <laughs> Sick <of this. laughs> So these guys want to hear you sing. See my sing. theme? Listen. Uh, we like this <laughs> Listen, these guys want to hear you sing a song, so it's quite appropriate that you sing happy birthday to your pop. I can't sing. Sing happy birthday. Dogs don't sing. Sing they happy do. birthday Why now. Why can't you sing? Well, I guess I could try. Do it then. You gonna try? You gonna try to sing me "Happy Birthday"? Uh, if you let me. Well, yeah, of course you can do whatever you want. You know how well that goes usually. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, go ahead and try it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, me, 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 me. Are you straightening your bow tie again? <laughs> no, I'm trying to get my seam in order. <laughs> Think you can shut up a minute now? <laughs> Caesar, stop talking. All right, long like face. That. And you be nice to him too. All right, yeah, long, long face. face. I got your fucking long face, bitch. <laughs> Caesar, stop now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my pop. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Hey, that was all right. Not too bad, huh? How about a round of applause for He's Caesar? quite the radio star. <laughs> he is. He's all right. See, I told you I could do anything. Even though you got no balls. I, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> stop. Caesar. Now, I'm not telling you that's, to stop talking to me like that. That's quite a good-looking seam you got there. You don't know how she talks to it me. It goes all the right. way from underneath you, all the way up to your chin, up to your long face. Why don't you lick my seam? <laughs> Caesar? <laughs> God, you're making it worse all the time. <laughs> He's getting to be a real friggin' prick because of you. Yeah, well, you ain't seen shit yet. Just, that's enough. <laughs> oh, well, it better be. What else would you guys in the chat room like him to sing? Would you like him to sing a nice little cute nursery rhyme? Don't you have something else to read? Oh, cute. Oh, yes, I do, actually. Well, your friggin' memories about as long as my <laughs> seam. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> well, it's a good job you got quite a long seam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, funny, right? Yeah. The next message is of Cindy Kendall. She says, happy birthday, Randy. Hope Hi, you Cindy. had a fantastic day. Oh, it's great. You guys were gone and it was quiet in here. Will you fucking knock it off? Oh, and your friend, Karen Ann Darby Pence. She said... What's she say? How about if I read it this time? Okay. I'll read it. Yeah, please, because... I like Karen. She's a nice girl. I know, her and Phil are pretty cool. Happy birthday, Randy. This is your year. You got a beautiful wife, and it looks like you two are having way too much fun. Have a white Russian for me on your birthday. Oh boy, a white Russian. I could do a white Russian. Oh, but you could read the Mrs. Svetlana would be a nice one to do. Stop, you friggin' whore dog. Are you gonna read, read the one from Mrs. Jibjab? You know you love Mrs. Jibjab. Yeah, I'll read that one, because I like Jibjab too. Jibjab. Stop. <laughs> Chip -chap. How do you know what that is? I see you watching them all the time. She sends you hundreds of them. I know. They're pretty cool, too. I laugh like hell at those how does it? How does it go again? I find them to be pretty cool, too. How's what go? 
Chip chip. Oh, chip chip. <laughs> <laughs> you do do that pretty cool. Oh, let me read this thing. Chip chip. Happy birthday, Randy the man. Oh, it says Randy the man. Yeah, you know who I am. Well, I got a pretty good idea. Hope you had a great day from Mr. and Mrs. Chip chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all right. Thank you all for your messages and there is something from Joshua Gate. Thank you, well. Deb. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're good people, that's for oh, sure. Oh, and Michelle. Michelle Cross sent me one. Uh-oh. She said... Are you going to read that in British? She, Michelle Cross Let me read it in British. No, 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 no. no I'm going to read this it. one. She said... I'm going to say what's up then. Michelle Cross said... What up over there then? Happy birthday, you smelly ass redded, freckle, freckle-faced fuck, she said. She did. Can you see that there? I wrote it down yesterday. I got your that was off Michelle. Right she said, Happy birthday, you red-headed, freckle-faced fuck, she said. <laughs> you smelly arse, point, pointy chin. <laughs> she got one on you, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shut up, both of you. I know. I couldn't believe I got all that off Michelle yesterday. She's terrible, that one. I wanted to read it in British. Oh, okay. Um, I wanted to read it in British, dumbass. Don't you listen? Season no, I'm going to read it. Happy, this is from Michelle. Happy birthday, you you red-headed, smelly arsed freckled-faced fuck. <laughs> How British is that for you? That's pretty British. Pretty, pretty British. Sounds like Mrs. Mulgrew. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I don't know how she tolerates that guy. I don't either, but I think he's pretty cool. Can we watch it again? Yeah, watch it. What channel did we watch that on? It was PBS, wasn't it? Uh, no, we watched it online. It was on YouTube, yeah, Lisa Back Wright. in the days when we had gigs so we could when watch it. we had gigabytes. Things. Can you believe we had gigabytes once? I yeah, know. you did, Michelle. Do you remember? Yeah, it's right here in writing, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, probably because Donna wrote it down. Don't believe everything you hear in here. Oh, I don't believe me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a long theme. <laughs> Who are you calling a long theme? I don't, I don't think you, you've got the you don't think you I just about cheek to call anybody you. a long theme. I had theme. enough of you. You understand what I'm saying over there? <laughs> yeah. Caesar, don't get out of hand. Well, she's always pushing that stupid shit. <laughs> she says that was meant to go to, that was meant to, go to Craig, her, her ginger had, freckle face book. I just had the most <laughs> awesome cold glass of milk. That was awesome. Yeah, well, where was mine? It was right here. I drank it. You licked it out of my bowl? Yeah, it was good. I wasn't wasting any on you. Oh, geez, Bob. Sorry. It just happens that way. A jib jab of Okay, don't everybody talk at once. Well, yeah. I don't know what to say. Well, these guys want to hear another song. I mean, happy birthday. What kind of excuse for a song do you call well, that? Why don't you play that erection song? Because I sing in that one. Ah, oh, we could. We could play that. Yeah, we could do that. You like that erection song? Well, yeah, because it'd be nice to get one. Why, do I, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you sing that song? Um, if you're happy and you know it, clap your paws. If you're happy and you know it, clap your paws. Is that how it goes? If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy, clap your paws, clap your paws. That's close, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know it myself. <laughs> Are you done now? Yeah, I've had enough, I think. Long face over here is creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> Not even surprised, Scoob. I'm telling you guys, I measured his face against my face last week, and he has the long face. Well, I'm a dog. What the hell do you expect my face to look like? And he has a pointy chin. You Just... remind me of the horses next door. Caesar! <laughs> Quit! <laughs> God. And that one other one, what are those over there? Oh, yeah, the jackasses. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Yeah, but that's what you remind me of. Oh, what a cutie. You're so cute, you're so ugly, you're cute. Caesar! <laughs> Get out of here now. All right, I'm going. Cool. Michelle says singles are stiffy. What? I don't think you know what stiffy is, do you, Caesar? I got your stiffy right here, Michelle. Caesar, stop! You don't even know her. <laughs> What's a stiffy? Yeah, fill me in. <laughs> Did that fill you in? So what's a stiffy? Oh, you better ask Michelle that one. Spine. All right, Michelle, cough up the answer. <laughs> There's no stiffies going on here. Well, I don't see anything either. It takes so long because of the leg, we have to wait for somebody to answer. Yeah, yeah it's about a 30 second delay or something. I could have had a stiffy in Got rid of it by now. I could have pulled a good stiffy by now. Caesar. 
<laughs> All right, why don't you go back on the couch? All right. Night, everybody. Thanks for having me. Love you guys. See ya. Bye, buddy. Say bye, Smell. Did you have dinner, by the way? Oh, yeah, I did. It was good. Donna made it. She always makes me some culinary delight. Oh, all right. Well, as long as you're happy, that's he doesn't. Nice he never wants Caesar. Never wants to eat his dinner when you just stick it in front of him. But if you be stupid and be daft, be really, really crazy in the kitchen, he just loves it. I heard what you said. <laughs> yeah, she's good. Pulling your leg. <laughs> oh, are we done now? He's gone. It's quiet again. The erection song. Michelle wants the erection song. All right, let me find the Walk erection song. Walk with an erection. Walk with an erection. Caesar, get back to bed. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those erections, they just kind of come and go. <laughs> they do. That they do. Oh, Jesus criminy. All right, well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play with Caesar's erection. <laughs> Look at you, hey, you got more cold milk. Let me have some of that. No. No, I'm just kidding. I love that, man. Nothing better than slamming a good cold glass of milk. Especially after you have, like, hamburgers or mashed taters or biscuits with about five sticks of butter on it. Oh, that's some good shit. Well, anyway, as soon as this song loads up, I'll play it. But we did a three-ger, so that was pretty good. A Bob three it was. Moving right along, Random Man, the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. That's really Caesar Barkin, too, by the way. All the listeners on the radio, they like... America, the Tin Man, the Yankee and the Brit. On the RTM Radio Network, Random Man and Donna. Hello on a Friday rock and roll night. What's going on, everybody? Looks like you guys are just chatting your asses away. Good night, Nicholas. Thanks for coming by, buddy. I hope you enjoy your dinner, whatever you're having. I'm kind of hungry, too. You hungry? I don't know. I know. I'm kind of like, I'm hungry, but yeah. that means somebody's got to go in there and cook. No, I don't even know whether it's that. I feel a bit iffy. <laughs> I know, and I don't want to do a hamburger again. I'm not hamburgered out. And nobody's made any shepherd pie. I did not. I know, they have not. <laughs> I'm just sick of this. Do you know, I can't think of what to eat in this place, in this country, <laughs> should I say. No shopping, we end up buying the same things. I'm sorry, we haven't got any coveries. We end up buying the same things because I just don't... Nothing on the shelves appeals to me. Honestly, it's, I hate... I used to love going food shopping and now... Good night, Linda. It just really, really depresses me. I walk around the shops and I just can't find anything that I like or anything that... I, Anything that looks half nice. I just don't know what to eat anymore. Well, I get tired of the same friggin' thing over and over. I haven't been eating much. You'd think I'd lose some of this fat-ass trucker belly I got, but it just won't go away. You know, they say that over, once you get, like, in 50 or more, it's just almost impossible to get rid of a friggin' big gut. I'm starting to believe it now. And all the things that I did like, that seemed to be really, really, really salty over here. Like, I, like, I, love, I love to have a can of soup. And they're just... All the soups over here are just so salty. It's salt and sugar. It's un yeah, salt and I know. sugar. I know. I don't salt think I like all salt that. Salt, sugar, and grease. It's, oh, it's killing me. I mean, I, you know, I grew up eating all that stuff, but I do get tired of it. But it's, what the hell else is there that you can afford, you know? I mean, all, anything that's really good, you got to buy 18 fucking ingredients to make anything. It costs you $20 to make a friggin' $3 meal. It's ridiculous. And the prices of food and milk and everything are getting so friggin' high. No, it's not, Randy. What's not? I probably <laughs> said something I didn't even realize I said it. What's not, Laura? There's like about a 30 second delay on here. Uh, I guess you've got to really type really, really fast. I, oh, like, no. I like salt on, on oh, everything. Oh, you should, you should see the salt. You, you know, like, I, I, I used to have a lot of Campbell's soup. And over here, oh, it was disgusting. Do you remember that soup we had? It was, it was vile. Yeah, I wouldn't even eat that. That's too, de that's too much. Salt. And I went and complained. I actually emailed them and um, complained about how salty, the salty it was, because it was unbearable. We couldn't even eat so it. So they it sent, her, sent her some certificates <laughs> for free soup. Yeah, the soup was unbearable. Hey, you like, you didn't like that? Try some more of the same shit. <laughs> yeah, the soup was on more batches for Campbell's soup. That's about how it works too, you know. Oh, I just can't find anything I like. I'm, I'm oh, 
Yeah, I see what you're saying, Laura. I know, man. I can't get rid of the goddamn thing, you know? I go all the time. I'm always up and moving around. I don't sit still, but... You know, the shit I eat doesn't help any. It's all fattening stuff, but I love it. You know, my teeth are rotting out of my fucking head. My kidney's ready to explode. You know, my wrists and everything, I have carpal tunnel, and they hurt, and my knees and my legs, the circulation's fucked up. But... You know, you very rarely hear me complaining about it, because I really don't think anybody wants to hear it for one thing, and I don't think it's anybody's business for the other part. I don't mind telling you guys while I'm sitting here. It's just, you know, but it's just the idea. I can't quit it. I can't stop that stuff. Like now, I'm chewing on a friggin' Hershey's milk chocolate. Oh, and the, the chocolate over here as well. It's just, you know when some... Oh, no, 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 no. You wait a minute, little Miss M&M. The only thing I like is M&M's. <laughs> and you gobble them bitches up, no wonder you... I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Peanut peanut M and M's. I'm a, I'm a bit addicted to. But he only really nothing she them. likes more than a mouthful of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I have them like at the weekends before the show or something. But I tell you what, all the other chocolate. Like I used to love Snickers bars, and uh, not over here. They are disgusting. This Laura, you're not over sixty, are you? Really? She's not over sixty. She can't be, no way. Don't in the give world me that bullshit. I know better. No fucking way. And I just turned fifty seven, by the way, for some of you that probably didn't see it on Facebook or something. Does it actually tell your age on there or you, they expect you to be smart enough to figure it out? You went and put it public. You went and said Well, it I don't give a shit if anybody knows how old I am. Yeah, well it's yeah, but it's like you you're leaving yourself open to hackers because your full name's on there, you've date of birth uh, on there. Fuck what are they gonna fucking hack from me? You, My you, Facebook account? Please, take the fucking thing. information? Like what? I don't have any money in the fucking bank that can't take that. I don't that. know what. Your identity is important. Nah, fuck that stealing your information bullshit. I'm so sick of hearing that shit. I don't have anything for anybody to take, and I don't own anything. So what the fuck? Can you imagine some crook stealing my fucking bank information, and then he's in jail because he didn't pay his fucking bills because my card's no good? I don't feel bad for the guy. Dumbass. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was She's just, 62. <laughs> I was just sat there just watching Randy. He was doing something I had to with figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting into a getting started on a good rant. If you'd have just looked at the chat, she's actually told you how old she is. You didn't need to count. You could have been lazy. Where the fuck's that at? Oh, now it just pops up. Yeah. Yeah, it just now popped up, too. The fucking thing's so goddamn slow. At least the phone works. I wonder what the bill's gonna be this time. It was 300 fucking dollars last month. Thanks to a call to England that nobody was made. It? Yeah, exactly. I went to prank call. I went to prank call Brandon White from Bandit Radio, and boy, did that prank spring right back at me. And that up goddamn calling. call went to pop away New Guinea. Yeah. Now, why in the fuck does that call need to be routed to New Guinea, which is north of fucking Australia, to go to Oklahoma, and he's only like fucking 200 miles away. Yeah. What and it is cost, wrong and with it his cost, fucking phone company? And that call cost $97. 97 fucking dollars to call 200 fucking miles away. And let me tell you, nobody even answered the phone either. It was, it was ringing when I left it. And it cost me $97. Goddamn dick licking bunch of faggot fucking puss suckers. I can't believe that shit. Oh, that's something to fucking rant about. Fucking phone Do companies. Goddamn black eyed bastards. <laughs> What's black eyed about him? When I fucking get a hold of this son of a bitch, <laughs> I'm gonna punch him in the fucking head and give him a black eye. Punch them, punch them up the throat. <laughs> I'll punch him up the throat. How far's his head from his tail? <laughs> Where's your tiger's head? Five foot from his tail. Four foot from, from his, his tail! tail. <laughs> yeah, I've rant, because the phone companies are a bunch of crooked son of a bitches, and they wouldn't fucking budge either. I called them three, they told me three, what, three or four fucking times they were going to fix that, and they never, and then the last fucking cunt comes on there, I can't do that. You made the call, it shows you made the call. Lick my fucking call, you goddamn slime bucket. Like You're the one that good. routed the son of a bitch to another goddamn six other fucking countries. Stupid bastards. So that's the last I'd... time I prank call you, Brandon White. And you know what? Something else I want to fucking say about shit. What do you shit. want to fucking say? This goddamn bullshit. Now, 
You see what happened in Indiana last week, right? They passed that religious law? Yeah. All right, don't snarl your face yet. I've got an itch on my foot and I'm trying to scratch it on here. Here you were looking like, yeah, fuck those assholes. I'm still saying fuck those assholes, but I'm scratching my foot. Okay, you're pretty. Did I tell you that? <laughs> Anyways, um, that fucking shit that went on in Indiana last week with the religious law and then he retracted it after public outcry after George Takei and how many other people, the basketball leagues, they said, we're not coming to Indiana, we're not doing that shit, fuck you, blah, 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 right? Everybody stood up for this, and the governor backed right down, and they're fixing everything, blah, 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 right? Where are all the people that bitch and whine and complain about Obama and chemicals in your food and all that shit? Where's all those fucking people that whine and cry? They cry over a fucking stupid religious law, and I understand, you know, but... Uh, you know, worried about not serving gays or waiting on gays or lesbians and all that, but where the fuck are all you people on all these other important issues? You don't see anybody getting together in groups and saying, you know what, fuck you, we don't want Obamacare and we're not going to take it. You know, just everybody's, these people stand up for some of the stupidest fucking things, you know. If those people in Indiana were really going to fucking let people come into their restaurant and tell them you can't come in there, they'll put themselves out of business. But you don't see anybody standing up for all this other shit. Why, was it, why did everybody get together? You could, you could see what happens when you all get together. When you all come together, shit gets done. But yet Obama and all these other things, and nobody does shit about it, but they'll sit and fucking bitch and cry about it all day. Obama's fucked this up. Obama's fucked that up. Blame it on George Bush. Blah, blah, blah. Stop fucking whining and do something about it or shut the fuck up. I get so sick of hearing that. Reading all these political fucking bullshit posts and just waste more fucking time. If it wasn't for the business, I would probably turn Facebook off. But it does a lot for us. I have a lot of good friends on there. I'd probably block 90% of the groups if I didn't do it. I wouldn't boot my friends off. I would keep it. I know I say I would get rid of it, but I wouldn't. I would keep all my friends, but all that fucking bullshit and whining and crying. Jesus Christ, doesn't anybody have a fucking life? All they can do is sit around and cry and feel sorry for themselves. Take some fucking responsibility. Nobody had a problem standing up and bitching about a religious law. But it's okay if we eat chemicals and fucking fill the air with shit and kill ourselves off. Not that we'll be around to uphold any of religious laws because we'll all be dead, but that's okay. What the fuck is wrong with people? What are you giggling about? <laughs> I'm just sat here like half daydreaming. <laughs> I know. You, you just ran away without me. You ignore me like everybody else does. <laughs> That's okay. I know, Laura. They're up everyone else's ass trying to tell everybody else how to live their fucking life instead of worried about their own. If they'd all just get together and worry about the stupid shit, all this shit would be fucking straightened out. But no. You know, it's amazing. And, you, and you've seen in the past where people all come together and shit gets fixed. It works. It works. But nobody wants to do that. And I don't get it. Why? How can you sit and say, I wish they'd stop doing this and I wish they'd stop doing that. But when everybody really puts their mind to it, bam, shit gets fixed. They fixed that in a week's time. Enough people bitched and wrote letters in a week's time. They solved the fucking serious issue. But we can't solve all their other problems because we're too busy, like Laura said, sticking our heads up everybody else's ass. That's why you don't see on my posts a lot of, my, a lot of things where I whine and cry. I got all kinds of fucking issues. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody fucking cares. I could care less about everybody else's issues. You got issues at your life. I got myself in my mess, I'll get myself out. You got yourself in your mess, you get yourself out. Sure, it's nice to have friends and somebody to help you out when you need it. But to announce it to the whole goddamn public, half the people don't even give a shit about that. Brian Sipes, are you a football player? Cool. How you doing, Mr. Sipes, by the way? Brian Sipes played for the Browns? Was Hi, it? how you doing? I don't even remember what football team Brian. Was it Brian Sipes? Wasn't he a football player? Somebody help me out here. I think he was a football player a long time ago. I don't think it's this Brian. But hey, welcome to us anyways. And Glad to mean, see you could come by mean, right in the middle of a Randy Rand. Do you mean your kind of football or our kind of football? Our kind of football, not you know, your kind. Because I see it as like a bunch of hairy-ass blokes kicking a bag of wind around a football pitch. Round a field. They kick you around? I says a hairy, hairy ass <laughs> blokes kicking a bag of wind round a field. They kick you around? <laughs> yeah. I, I get it now. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Everybody say hello to Brian. Hi. Glad to see you could stop by and listen to me rant and bitch and rave about how fucking stupid Americans are. 
And now I'm talking about the white ones. Doesn't even have anything else to do with the rest of them. And just, just to top it off, yes, I'm a racist. I'm a racist against assholes. I don't care if you're black, blue, green, yellow, white, pink, or violet. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole. It's pretty fucking simple and straightforward. But let's complicate it. Let's throw race into the issue. Why not? Boy, do I feel better. Look, Brian's gone. He's already had enough. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi. Is this what I tuned into? <laughs> Whoops, excuse me. My Hershey's chocolate speaks for itself. Uh, you look like a scoutmaster. Hope you're not going to go back and tell... Oh, that's a lanyard around your neck. Sorry. I was just checking out your picture. Obviously, you and your wife. Good looking oh, couple. Oh, are you from... Are you one of Dave's bunch? Looks like a cruiser, cruiser to me. Cruiser, yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah, you got Randy Rant. I would, I'm just half asleep. I'm just sat here just listening to it all go on. See, like Laura says, I'm not antisocial. I'm anti-stupid. All right? I agree. And thanks to Dave, I got a fucking habit of smoking cigarettes all the time now while I'm talking. I still blame him for that. Because I like to blame Dave for things. There are assholes and there's some that work at it. Boy. There's an awful lot of them that work at it. There's a lot of them that don't put any effort into it, and they're assholes. But what do I know? Hey, I just stay over here in my little train world with my beautiful little wife and do my thing. Aw, oh, she's smiling. You are. You're absolutely gorgeous. I find you to be one of the most attractive women I've ever known. Oh, my God. You, my love, should have gone to Specsavers. Well, i got to get them replaced, but they're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which... Christine Lewis called me up and she was all giggly. I only caught part of it because she was She was giggling. laughing like hell. What the hell was she laughing about? <laughs> she, said, she said she went to get her eyes tested. You guys all in the chat room know Christine Lewis. She said she went to get her eyes checked today and, uh, and she was chatting to the optician and, um, and he says that there was a woman that was in there previous to her who came in all serious and, uh, and the optician sold her some new glasses and, uh, and the woman went home come back and brought the glasses back and said, I want my old glasses because I can see all the dust and the dirt in me eyes. I want my old glasses back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like that though. If, if, if my new glasses are making me see that the walls need painting and shit, I'm like, yeah, I need my old glasses. I was trying to find that song. What? Not having much luck with it. Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. I can't find it though. Smoke along the crack. Oh, the track. I know I got that song somewhere. I have to figure out. I thought that's what it was called. Anyways, so I feel better now. I got a lead off my chest. <whistles> Nothing wrong with smoking, Michelle. If you like to smoke, you like to smoke. I like it. I, I don't like it, but I don't like it. You know, it's one of those. What do you call that? Certainly makes you a smelly fuck. Stop breathing my air. Okay, no more kisses then. What do you think of that? Tardo. All right, well, anyways, let's play some more music. we still got time. We need some kick-ass rock. That's what we need. Let's try some of this. this Audio Slave. The was named Audio Slave. In honor of the last American heroes to whom speed means freedom of the soul. The question is not when they're going to stop, but who is going to stop them. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Ran the Man. Yes, that's right, the Yankee and the Brit. Oh my gosh, you know when me and Randy first started doing shows, he put this song on and I tell you what, we, we clicked just like that with this song, you know. We oh were my both God. Just going crazy. And we're just sitting here now, and freaking Rand jamming our brains yeah, out. Yeah, and when, when, I first, when I first saw Randy uh, on webcam when we was doing this, you know, he was... Going crazy around the room with his um, the bodies with, his, the with his air guitar and oh my gosh, it was just bonkers. We just love this song. We played it every time we've done a rock show. We just we just play this song every time. We don't and then care. the fool fell in love with me and the whole. We rest don't care if it's overplayed. We just love to play it. I know it's Fuck such it. a kick-ass tune. Talk about bringing you up out of a <laughs> doldrum, boy. Oh yeah. Friday night, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley, the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Networks, Nitwits. <laughs> I know who we are. You're Doing our rock and roll thing on Friday. Don't forget, tomorrow night will be all country music, so come on over and hang around for some of that good stuff. 
got a couple new ones, anyways. Where the bloody hell's Larry tonight? Larry hasn't been around for the last couple shows. I know. Now. I said to him. Oh yes, he was here last. I week. said to him earlier. I said you need. To, you know, it's Randy's birthday party, so you need to be there. You know, our naked waiter, and he's gonna have a busy night because there's lots of drinks to pass around. Well, I'll tell you one but thing with Larry. He's not even been here tonight. Where the fuck are you? Now you know Larry doesn't care for the rock and roll I either, know, so he just I waits know. and comes on Saturday because that's he knows we play his favorite songs. So yes. But that's okay. I don't care. I'm happy with that. Yeah, exactly. That's you know, and I've said it before. That's the goal. You guys are what the whole damn show is about, and I'd like to have, see more people come in here. I think that would be cool as hell. I think I scared uh, Brian Sipe away. And I think I scared a certain somebody away this week by my, um, <laughs> by my overly blunt and to the point inbox message this week. But no big deal. Like I say, if they can't take the truth, then well, that's what I say. Fucking deal with it. It's just yeah. the way it is, you know. And don't. Come around talking and asking for opinions, and then when you get one, go squealing away with your tail between your fucking legs. Yeah, exactly. They ask my opinion, so I told them. I don't know. And, and, it's, and it's, 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 it's a sensitive subject, but, you know, they asked, so I told. That's the way it goes. And then there's those people that make those posts online about uh, their friends. And it's like, you know what? I'm not even going to fucking answer it. You know, if you can't come to me and talk to me privately and in person and ask me what the fuck's going on and why I think what I think, then fuck off. I don't need it. Life's too fucking short to fool around with fucking drama. That's exactly. it. Exactly. I know. I don't need that bullshit. And I think a lot of people know what the fuck I'm talking about because it was fucking public, for Christ's sake. I don't like that shit. My stuff is private unless I want to make it public. You know? So come to me, talk to me like a fucking man, and ask me, hey, what is the problem? Or don't say anything and go about your fucking way. All you do when you do that shit is just fucking piss me off even more. Really, what's wrong with Larry? Is he still sick from, uh, from when you <laughs> kept him up there in a friggin' ice box for six months? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not used to being in the sunshine. He's probably, probably not used to heat now. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably having fucking heat stroke. <laughs> See, Dave's laughing. I think he knows what I'm talking about. But that's, I just can't stand that fucking shit, you know. Oh, boo hoo! Oh, and fucking then, boo hoo. I know, honey, I, and I felt absolutely terrible for writing what I thought, but I just like thought, well, you know. Fuck yeah, it. but you know, we talked about fuck that it. before you said anything. Yeah. And we both agreed that you, what you said was the right thing. Because Donna always asks me, says, you think I should say this? It's like, you tell them what the fuck you want to tell them. You're a big girl. But I agreed with her 100%. And it's just... Uh, I know, because you know. There's, there's, that, there's that line, you know, they, they, think that it's, they think that it's right. They think it's what they should be doing. And, and, I, and in a way, I do think that's what they should be doing. But not, you know, I, I do support what they want to have, but not the way they want to go about it pretty much. And, and I can sit there and go, oh, yes, yes, that's a lovely way to go about it. But no, it's not what I think, you know, and if I don't tell them what I think, then... If Larry's got a headache, tonight's not the night to be listening to this music. <laughs> 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 uh, I wouldn't be playing that shit if I had a headache either. And I knew you knew what I was talking about. But, uh, hi, Marty's back. I thought hey. you said you were leaving. See, you do like us, and you like our music. That's why we like you. But that's, uh... I just don't do that shit. I get tired of it, you know? And, and events like now, I gotta say something because it just, it just eats at me little by little until I have to fucking say something. And that shit just pisses me off when I'm forced to do that. And it's actually forcing me to, you know, and I could go into detail, but why? Then I'm just stooping to the same level, so why should I bother? So anyways, yeah, the truth hurts sometimes. The truth hurts a lot of times. I get the truth thrown, thrown in my face all the time, but that doesn't make me hate people. If that's your opinion, yay, I'm happy for you. Bye, Marty. If you got an opinion, fine. You're allowed to. You're entitled to it. Have your opinion. Doesn't mean I gotta like it, but I'm not gonna slap you in the cocksucker because you gave me your opinion. If I ask you for your opinion, I want it. You know? We do that like Donna and I did about the show. We asked you guys what you wanted, and then you told us. And we're okay with that. So there. <laughs> I know, I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> you can always ruin a perfectly good rant. Unbelievable. Shame on you. Don't do that again. So, we are on uh, a talk on show on Facebook. We are on a talk show on Facebook. Okay, good. Let us know how it goes. So, anyways, um, 
See, it's just like that with Marty. Okay, so you're on a talk show with somebody else. That's okay. I don't have any problem with that. I don't think Donna does either. No, yeah, enjoy your night. That's what it's all about. Whatever you do, mm-hmm. you can have fun. Whether you're here, whether you're... Anyway, we don't care. You know, if you want to come in the chat, come in the chat. If you don't want to listen, don't listen. And how many times have we have said fun, that? Whatever you do How many life. times have we said that over the years? What? We're here for you guys. Whatever you want to do, make yourselves happy. That's the whole key. If you want to listen to our show, that's great. If you don't, we're okay we with that. We will never, ever, ever be offended. Just, you've got to do what's Not happening. us. <laughs> it's like exactly. trying to offend a rock. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been offended a couple of times this week, and I'm not someone that gets offended easily. But You've been offended? Yeah, I have. Is that I right? Have, yeah. Well, I'll be damned. By me? No, not you. Well, I didn't I just think don't... so. I don't know. And Donna and I are the same way with each other. We don't fucking like something. We tell each other. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's stupid. Why do you do that? But we we like it. I like it that way, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Like she's told me before, you know, one of the little things that's really not important that I don't mind saying is like she says, if you see something on my face, tell me, you know. She's always got food stuck on her face and shit because she oh. eats like a pig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Randy is, a, and and I've got this. Re, I've got this. Michelle will tell you this. Raw meat, grease. All oh that my sort of god! Stuff. She won't even touch fucking hamburger. Yeah, for sake. and I'm and you know I'll go over and kiss my husband, but I tell you what, there is no way in the world that I will use a spoon. You know he pours honey, he pours honey in his cup. And, uh, I put and honey it, in the spoon, and yeah, then I mix it in the coffee. And he mixes it in his coffee. Because honey in the coffee is awesome. He mixes it in his coffee, and then he goes and licks the spoon after, and there's no way in the world that I will use that spoon afterwards. I have got big issues with all but that But get shit. this shit. She'll French kiss me, but she won't fucking use that spoon after I licked it. <laughs> will you please explain the difference to me? <laughs> germs are germs. My germs are her germs, vice versa. Go figure oh, that one out. I've just, I've just got, re- I've got so many pet hates. I'm so weird about it. so many things. And but, it just tickles me to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it does. <laughs> I know, I get a kick out but of yeah, it. But yeah, uh, we, you know, whatever's, whatever we're thinking, we just say it. And, you know, nine times out of ten, you know, we go to, we go to bed happy. Um, we go to bed laughing. You know, how many times do we wake up? And wake up, up with a kiss every morning. We wake up Except this morning, morning, you let me down. You let me down. No, where it's the, your fault, where the fuck bitch. Were you you where fucked were you? up. You're the one that didn't where give me that you? kiss. You woke up and said, I need to go and have a shit or something. But I didn't. I waited until we got back. <laughs> then I really had to go. <laughs> but bit, but yeah, it was a bit tight on the kisses this morning. I'm not having that. I won't be having that no more. You know, I? we've been married a month. A month today we've been married. And you're slacking on the kisses already. Hey, what we got here then? <laughs> An argument. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> Michelle will be posting then again here pretty soon. <laughs> Oh, there's plenty of laughter over here, I'll tell you that much, man. I never met oh, anybody well. that I giggle so much with about <laughs> stupid shit. Oh, yeah, we're in bed at night, you know, Randy's just falling to sleep, and I'll just have the stupidest <sighs> thought in my head, and I'm like, let's do it. You know, like this morning, that picture of Randy uh, that I posted on Facebook yesterday with the pregnant belly. Um, Dumbass. You know, I was in the bathroom washing my face and everything this morning, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I must go in the house, get a green balloon... Put some uh, funky eyebrows on it and all sorts uh, to show everybody his new burst baby. <laughs> you know that's that was a stu- the sock. It was a yeah. balloon. You no, know, but I was going to do it with the balloon. Oh, but I, I, did, I, didn't I didn't want to. Use, I didn't want to use Caesar's last two balloons. I know because so, he like those. He loves yeah, his balloons. Caesar's got two balloons left, so we ended up making sock puppets. <laughs> Happy one month anniversary. Yeah, so far so good. I haven't killed her yet. <laughs> But yeah, I have the stupidest ideas, and they they, they come right, they, they come when I'm busy or in bed, or you know, we end up giggling in bed about it, don't we? Unbelievable! And porch time, things, life is not good without porch time. Porch time, it is a must. Michelle, 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 you've never even known porch time unless unless you've well unless you've pro- you you probably do know porch time, you know if you've been. You guys don't have porches over no, there. No, no, but she she goes to Spain a lot, you know. So maybe her brother's got. She goes to Madrid sometimes, so maybe her brother's got a porch. But I tell you what, porch. There's a porch right here outside our front door, um, and it's just amazing, you know. I just sit there in the morning, sunrise, baby, sunrise. And she's still ever since she has been here. From the time she was here till she left and she came back every time, ever since she's been here, 
She's gone out and taken a picture of the sunrise every friggin' morning. She's got fucking pictures of sunrises that they all look alike now because <laughs> she takes pictures of the sunrise every single day. I never say never. Okay. I did, I did what in college? I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> the delay's like 30 seconds longer. We I can only so imagine. Much. I probably don't want to hear those stories. <laughs> yeah, I tramp. did what in college. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another jam, shall we? I think we shall. Let's do it now. This stuff is real. Hello? You're listening to Randy Man and Donna Matrix. Oh, real. and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Do you know what just popped in my head, Michelle? I was just thinking of that time when I was sat around your house. It was all kind of sat to sat boozing in in your mum's front room, and um, all of a sudden, I didn't even know nobody heard it, but we heard, there was just this noise like a twang, and I was there thinking, and my my bra just pinged open at the back, and then. Um, I wish that fucking clock would shut up. Yeah, my bra pinged open at the back. And, uh, and I had my jacket on, so I just... No, my, back, my jacket was kind of on the chair, so I just kind of picked my jacket up and kind of wrapped it round me, pretended I was cold, sneaked up to the toilet. I was there thinking, oh, fuck, where's my fucking clasp for my fucking bra? And, uh, and I get back downstairs, you know, with my jacket round me tight, like that, hoping no one will see me, um, you know. Anyway, um... What's to see? So it's unsnapped. It didn't fall over. Yeah, I know, I know, but, you know, what titties... Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what kind of tops you wear when you're a young girl? Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, baby. Yeah, everybody was, uh, everybody was just kind of looking at me as I walked in, and uh, I think it was Michelle's brother who just had this little uh, my clasp in his hand. Did you lose something, Donna? <laughs> was like, yeah, really that's a visual, all right. That's for sure. <laughs> oh my God! All the all the embarrassing things have happened at Michelle's house. Like I was upstairs in her loft, um, and I went and fell through the loft, which was like dangling over the top of her stairs. And I can't remember. I'm sure wasn't it Gareth Thomas that got me uh, that pulled me back or something? Oh my God! And I had. And I had just like a little short skirt on, and, me, and I was just dangling over the top of Michelle's stairs. The, the shit that's fucking happened. <laughs> you know, I was raised on mini skirts. <laughs> what, mm-hmm. what, you wore them too? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I stripped them off of somebody, I put them on. <laughs> you done being a twat now? <laughs> and I was on the park once with Michelle and this lad, and he just whipped my skirt. It was one of those button up skirts. He just whipped my skirt, and I was just sat there on the top of this hill. With Michelle in, this, in just my undies. Well, oh then. Oh, my God. All the bloody things that's happened with I'm that I'm glad girl. we're having this conversation. All the shit I'm learning. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to ship you back anyways, you tramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, dear. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'm a fucking liar, but what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Radio 
Radio Network with Random Man and Don and Atrix. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Randy, from Nick Deitch. Thanks, Nick. Even though you're not here. Yeah, Randy was. Uh, do you remember last year he, he sung um, "Happy Birthday" to you, and then he goes, "Happy Birthday, Mr. Towelhead. Happy Birthday <laughs> to you." Don't you remember? <laughs> I do. I bet we still have that on Spreaker somewhere. Mr. Towelhead. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Oh, let's see. I guess we're about out of time, so I guess you can say bye to me and goodbye to Donna. Hopefully, now we'll then, see Michelle. Tomorrow now night. then, Michelle. Same time, same channel. Could you let me finish the fucking sentence? Tramp. Well, she's. <laughs> <laughs> you see what you started, Michelle. Um, yeah, you, you're not quite getting it, Michelle. When Dave's in the chat room, you have to say bye to me, bye to Dave. Bye to Donna. It's what you have to do. Come on, get with it. Say bye to me. Say bye to me. That's it. That's say simple. bye to Dave. No, you say bye to me. That's saying goodbye to Dave. Say bye to Donna. You have to do it like Dave says we have to do it. There Come you on. go. See, Laura's See, got Laura's it. Laura's got it. Bye to me. <clears throat> yeah, just a few more minutes and we'll be out of here. <laughs> we will be out of here. Doctor Who's on next, so we got to go catch the doc. <laughs> Everybody loves the doc. And Doc Martin. Doctor Who and Doctor Martin. You can't fucking what? What's with the Brits? <laughs> you guys are all about your doctors, huh? Bye to Laura. Bye to me. Bye to Dave. Bye to Donna. Bye to me. Oh, better say bye to Birthday Boy as well before he starts getting a silk on. Bye bye. <laughs> bye to me. There you go. You're getting it, Michelle. Bye to me. That's it. Say bye to me. There bye to go. me. There you go. They just put the instructions in the chat. Say bye to me and goodbye to Donna. Bye, Tim Tatum. I just saw his name. Bye, blow by Mr. The Jib Jab. Where is he? Where'd it go? That's right. You're getting it, Shell. All right, coming back for country. Good. Tomorrow, Saturday night, country night with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM same Radio time, Network. Same time, same butt channel. Should we sing uh, the Yankee and the Brit? No, I'm gonna play it because I just ain't got no more to do it. The Yankee and the Brit. Good night, Patricia. I am the genius. He is a twit on the radio. I wish I had him knifed. The Yankee is the gonna Yankee knife Yankee. the Brit, Brit, <laughs> Brit, 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 Twit, Brit, Twit. We are out of here. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Night. Michelle and Michelle and Laura and W and Patricia and Dave and Mrs. Dave. Bye, and, W. Uh, I think W is awesome. He's got one of those really nice, friendly, happy, smiley faces. I like W. Night, W. And everybody else, thank you guys a million for coming by. Say goodnight to me. Goodnight to me. Say goodnight to Dave. Goodnight to Dave. And say goodnight, Donna. Goodnight, Donna. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not ready. <laughs> Shit. God damn Don't it. Don't tell me I've got to do it all over again. Shit, man, fuck. All right. Say goodnight. Say goodbye to me. <sighs> goodbye to me. Say goodbye to Donna. Goodbye, Donna. Say goodnight, Donna. Good night, Donna. Good night, everybody. Team Rant, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee, Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. Yes, Yankee, Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spliced. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the kitten will have begun by the end of the show. The heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brit, the Yankee and the Brit. The ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit, 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 Brit. Oh. Ha, ha, ha.